Hello one and all, welcome back to Ragville and my satisfactory playthrough. Now, I think what we need to do is get these uh, milestones complete because we can't do phase three until we get to uh, tier six, I think, because we need, yeah, we need these modular engines and these adaptive control units, which we're nowhere near at the moment. So let's get tier four upgraded. I think we're making everything here. We're not making enough reinforced plates at the moment. So let's go and have a look at reinforced plates. Because I think we have a build up of plates. We're just not utilizing them yet. So they're being made down here. Plates are coming in here. And yes, we are building up on plates. So we're obviously making plenty of plates, and we seem to have a lot of screws as well. These these are keeping up. So let's literally copy one of these over here. There's a pole there. Is that going to be in the way? I'm not sure. We'll put it there anyway. And that pole is not in the way, so that's nice. Oh, but... That said it was lined up, didn't it? Oh, I thought that said it was lined up. Ugh. Ugh. Pole's gonna be in the way. Hang on. We can build them right next to each other. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. I don't care. Right, let's put in a splitter in here. So, where do we want the splitter? Here? In the middle. Like so. Then we can have this come out and go into this one. Nice. Real. So this is going to be making us reinforced iron, but we also need some more screws. Now, are we making enough screws? They seem to be permanently moving, so I'm not sure we're making enough. Let's have a look in here. Oh, this is full. But they're permanently moving, so I think they're only full because they were full before we started the full manufacturing process. Now this, this stops. And this is backed up. So, let's take some screws. Let's check the top ones. Let's check the top machines first. See where we're going to take these screws from. So at the moment we're making 40 per minute there. Then up here, we're also making another 40, another 40, and another 40. So we've got a lot. What's that, 160? Uh, so 160 screws per minute. Are these backed up up here? No, these aren't backing up. This side is definitely backing up there. So these ones are feeding into here, which requires 60 per minute. Which I think we are just feeding that 60 a minute. These need 100 a minute. So yeah, we are using all of the screws, aren't we really? But we're not using all of this up. We've got 60 a minute coming down here. And what are we using up top? We might be able to make some more screws to feed this one. So we are using 15, we're only using 30, so we can make two more lots of screw production up here. So let's do this. Oh, 
Well, it'll be free more screw production, won't it? So we put one there, and then we have a machine at this end, and we do three of these machines in a row. I had a space in between each one, didn't I? Yeah. Why did I do that? Look at what you're doing, boy. Space in between. There we go. And then this one sits off the back of this one. That. Nice. Right, so what are we doing here? This is splitting 30 a minute, so we need to put, put another split in over here. What I'm going to do is remove these. I'm going to put this in here. Then that can carry on going to there, but then we can put a lifter here. Like that. Now we can do exactly the same on this side. Look, we can have a splitter here. I think that's right. And a lifter here. Like that. Which can bring 30 across that way. Yeah? So splitting 30, 30, and then 15 and 15. Okay, so those should be getting the required amounts now. We need to put a power pole in here somewhere, just to make sure we have enough power. Thank you. And you. We also need to feed these two, so we need another power pole, don't we? You, you can just go here. Oh, not like that, though. Let's do that. Oh, I moved on the conveyor belt. That's annoying. Now well, I've deleted everything. There we go. And uh, let's get rid of that one. And you can feed that one and that one. Oh, oh, we need three of these. Okay. And copy you. And put you there. Oh, it's not far enough across. How many spaces have I got? That'll do, that'll do. Put that down there. And then, just get rid of you. You can power just the middle. Huh? Oh. What's going on there? Oh, I see. Oh, I already powered that with the wrong one. 
So now that one should go in the middle, and this one can do these two here. Whew! Right. We're probably going to be hitting our max power soon. Yeah, we're getting very close. Capacity versus consumed is getting close. Right. So you want to go in there, and then we want... You to go in there, and then we want splitters in the middle of both. But In the middle here is a merger. And then. Oh, we're missing iron plates. Let's grab some of those from down below. To that one and you go into that right I think that's all sorted so you're making us rods you're making us rods yeah and then these three are making us screws screws and more screws right lots of screws guys so a screw production facility on the top here now, getting these down. They're already going down in this one. So we're making 120. We're going to need to have another down. I think. And for the moment, we won't have these storing anywhere either. That a merger. That shouldn't be a merger, should it? Yeah, because we want to merge. We'll have a merger on this one actually. So it helps if I press the right buttons. Like that. Then this one we want to have a splitter. You come across there. Go into there. Into there. Because that will work. And then off of this one should come 60 going down into this. I'm just going to do a lift. I think that will line up nicely. Look at that. Right. And then we've got these spare. We don't really need to be building anything with them at the moment, so I'm just going to leave them, because that's 60 a minute into this one. But this has no power. And... We can make power, though, by putting this... in here and connecting up there we go right 
How close are we with power with that one? We are extremely close. Look at that, 449. That was so close. Okay. But we should now be making extra plates. Yeah, so that's 10 plates per minute we're making now. We should be enough to keep up with all of this and build it up, I think. So this one's three per minute. And this one wants two. So we were just keeping up, but now we're making an extra five per minute. I think... What's, what's meant to go into here? So this is meant to be plates in here. So if we build the plates up in here, this one will be the perfect one to do it on. So we need to come across the here. So this is a splitter not a merger. So we need to have a merger. Somewhere here. I'm going to do it here. Oh, that was in the wrong place entirely. Block the hologram, Rag. You can do this. Right, we can get rid of that. And we can put that in there. Have that in there. Then out of here. Have a conveyor lift. then goes over this way and goes oh, we need to go one higher we need to go two higher across there. Nice. And there we go. Reinforced plates uh, will now be building up really quick. Brilliant. Right, let's run around and collect uh, some of the stuff we need. So what do we need? I think we need about 2,000 of these. One, two, three, four. Definitely need some concrete. Let's take a couple of stacks of that because we'll need some more later on for some stuff, probably. Uh, I think we needed some of these, didn't we? Let's take a couple hundred of those. We definitely needed some pipes. We should have a lot of pipes built up. I think we needed about 500, maybe. Um, let's... Let's see. Let's take them out. Definitely need iron frames. Now... And we need steel beams. So we're gonna... S s I think we need a couple of hundred, or maybe 500 steel beams. We're not making these very quick either, are we? Can we speed this up at all? I don't think we can. So I think what we'll do is we'll turn this machine off at the moment. So the versatile frameworks, we do want, but not quite yet. Right, let's go and put all this in and see how we're doing on our milestones. Select one at a time. Right, we'll start with logistics. No, because that needs the plates, which need to build up. So let's start with this one. So this needs the 2,000 of those. This needs 200, which we don't have yet. That needs a lot more of those. And we need some encased concrete, uh, encased 
steel frame pillars. So let's go and grab those. They are over here with our creature that is stuck on our belts. Hello, creature. Yeah, I'm talking to it, all right? Leave me alone. Let's, let's turn this one off as well, because I think we've got enough encased. And then that build still beams up as well. And then we, we should get our still beams really quick. Let's go and see what we're doing here. Yeah, they, we're building up reasonably quick. See how we're doing with plates. See how quick these are building up. We know it's five per minute. It's only been a couple of minutes, so we've probably got about ten. But, hey. Oh, we got 63 in there. There is a lot more needed, though. Uh, right. Let's see if we can finish this one off, though. Right, and I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm going to skip ahead at this point because I've just realised that we need those steel beams for this one. And it's going to take a little while for them to build up. So, see you in a bit. Okay, a quick point. I'm not sending 60 a minute down this belt. I'm only sending 30 a minute down this belt. So I haven't upgraded this yet. So let's upgrade this to a Mark II. I need 10 frames. I used all my frames just now. So let's get some frames and upgrade that and put in another smelter over there to create us some lovely stuff. So still these frames. Two more coming that way, but we'll wait for them. We should have some up the top. Oh, that's 11. Oh well. Okay, we need them in a minute anyway. Right, let's go minor mark two. So let's replace that. Right, now that that's checking out more, we can have one come out this way as well. It'll be a little bit of a waste, but it's not going to be too much of an issue. You have to bring it down here, I think. What I'll do is I'll put it here. And then this can come down and go. Oh, well, how are you meant to do that? Oh, I can do this. There we go. That looks good. That looks fine. And then well, this needs to come over this way and do the same like here. That'll do. That gets it in. And then... There seems to be a problem back here. Oh, we need a Mark II belt coming out of this, don't we? So, if we put a Mark II belt in here... There we go. So that was shutting down. That's now working. We need some power, though. Where can we get power from? You can just come into there for now. The power here looks very messy. 
might have to have a look at that in the future. This is one thing I don't like about this compared to Tectonica. You have to select what ore it wants to smelt, but it should just detect the irons going into it. I keep forgetting I have to select which one it's smelting. Right, and then all we can do here is have a merger. A merger. If we put it, I don't know, here. Maybe. Is that going to work? Yes. Look at that. So now we should be... Yeah, that's doing 30 per minute. The other one's doing 30 per minute. This belt will get saturated. We'll be making everything at full speed. Okay. So, once again, I will be back once I've built up enough stuff, guys. Okay, I haven't built up enough stuff because I've realised that these frames are taking forever to build as well. So, we're going to need to duplicate these. We forgot to duplicate the frames. So, let's put another frame builder in here somewhere. Where are we going to have this? This. Squish it right up. I think squishing it right up will be alright, but that's definitely not in line, even though that line says it's in... Oh, we're, we're backwards. There we go. Right. Yeah, so let's squish these right up. Now, I think we've got enough rods coming over here. Because this is filling up with rods, look. So, let's change this up a bit. I think if we have a yeah if we put a splitter here how close are we there is that going to I can't get across is that going to leave me enough room for a conveyor lift? No. So. I know what I can do. I can put the splitter on this one. Like that. There we go. And then I can have this. No, because I need that. Oh, this is going to be tight, isn't it? I can have it here, but it's going to cause me issues. I'm going to have to put it here. I think... If we have the... Incoming... On this side, then we can just bring it across here. Yeah? Yes. So... Let's have a conveyor lift. Does that. Now, these are all in the way, which is a damn shame. Right, let's get rid of them a minute while we sort this out. So we want to have another one of these, but here. No. Let's do that. For some reason, R wasn't working, guys. One, two, so R, click. There we go. Now that should work. Right. So if I put that into there, get rid of that, that should be at a right angle, and then this should go in at a right angle too. Nice. Right. We got there. And then if we put that into there, which looks horrible because it's bad, is that the only way I'm going to fit that in now? Right. 
Won't let me build it like that. It's too close. It's gonna have just to have this funny bit. That's all right. Okay, so that's got part of it in, but it also needs these frames, doesn't it? And we've annihilated the frames on this bit. So we could get rid of this and this and have a splitter here. And get rid of that. This has got very messy. Very, very messy. Okay. And what we want is one of these then. <gasps> no, we can't. Because, okay. My God, this is so close. Sorry for making this so messy, guys. All right, so we're doing one, two, three. Let's get four up. Four. Oh my God! Uh, I need a merger here. This is so messy. All right, let's go that way. Like that. And one. One, two, three, four. Like that. I think. Oh my god. What a mess, guys. And then this is making us some frames with no power. We don't need power. Right. And then another merger goes on this one. Like this. Into there, do that. Woo! Okay, so now we are making twice as many frames, and we're making slight. We're making what? Two more reinforced plates than we need per minute. But are these keeping up? Let's have a look. Yes, six. So we're building up with plates here. But is this just because we had a backlog before? Maybe. It's going down very slowly, so we're not quite making enough plates. May maybe. Okay, well I'm now going to let this build things. I'll be back in a little bit, guys. Okay, all. Well, so I think I have enough to do this milestone now, and I may even have enough to do some of the others. So we'll check that in a second. Uh, let's first of all get this one going. There we go. There we go. So, extended power infrastructure is done. So, what do we need for logistics, Mile 3? That's the 400 pioneers started exhibiting things. traumatic responses and to power blackouts. 500, 350. Do we have that? By your local uh, 500. Power storage power to delay yes. or prevent blackouts in the eventuality that your factory's power consumption We need consumption 300 copper sheets. To simplify, these are rechargeable batteries. I mean, nothing's not going to be back power for five minutes carry anyway. power lines for significantly greater distances than coals, facilitating Thanks, Ada. factory expansion and exploitation of this environment for the good of fix it and humanity. So we're gonna want some of those. We're also gonna want our reinforced frames. Uh frames. Uh reinforced sheet stuff. We don't have enough of these yet, so we're gonna have to wait a bit longer. 
Got the looks of it. Because that's only... What have we got? We got one, two, three... No, one, two, three, four. Oh, we've got enough. That is enough. Yeah, we can turn this back on. There you go. Right. So that's going. Oh, they're going. Uh, I, I, I can't remember what else we needed. But seeing as it's going to be five minutes for that shuttle to come back, I'll wait. See you in a bit. Okay, it's back. We can uh, continue on with the, the next one. I think we'll go for this one. And let's dump... Oh, we can't dump it in yet. It's still not here. It's got one second. There we go. Right, let's put all of these in. There we go. That'll be our logistics, which means we can upgrade to Mark III belts, Milestone which is reached. great. Improved storage containers and the conveyor belt How fast Mark III do Mark III provide the belts? obviously necessary okay. tools for improving your current setup. 270. Production speed is of the essence after all. So work hard. Work as if every person you have ever mm. or ever love is depending solely on the choices that <laughs> you make. Because they are. Thanks, Ada. Warning. Fix-it psychologists recommend not dwelling on the crushing mental and physical strain of your responsibilities and simply continuing to be productive. Will do. Hard work has repeatedly proven to be the best cure for any kind of stress. Now back to work. <laughs> How to release stress. Do more work. Right. Uh, back again when, when my ship comes back. And we have a freighter returning again to allow us to carry on and finish this last, last milestone. So, let's put these in. Here we go. And let's launch him off. Wonderful. We now have everything done milestone in Tier 4. Reached. By adding hypertube entrances at both ends of hypertubes, pioneers can achieve two-way travel between locations. They are also error percent safer than jump pads. You dreamed of moving across factories like valued resources such as rocks and water and fix it listen to your dreams. What? We watched them. We took extensive notes. Hypertubes. Because fix it makes pioneers closely monitored dreams come true. Okay. Thanks, Ada. Uh, one thing I also did, guys, is uh, I realized I hadn't started uh, getting stuff for my tokens. So I have... Uh, uh, Fix the awesome sink so it's now working from a power pole over here and I've put this down so I can just dump some random stuff in. I mean, you know, I've got a lot of copper, so let's let's put that in. Uh, I put my, my leaves in here and I've already already have one coupon. So I could print myself a coupon. And I could go and buy something from the shop club. So I could go over here. And Basically, you want to get all the stuff that's useful first because it gets harder and harder to print tickets. So, I would start with, for example, this conveyor organization. Uh, none of this stuff is really uh, needed. It's more uh, uh, niceties to have. But foundations are useful to have. So, you've got some additional foundation options there. Uh, and... Uh, Ladders. Ladders are very useful to get as well. I, I like my ladders, guys. So I'm just going to buy one of these for the moment, just because I have a ticket. Let's add that to my cart. Uh, and uh, let's go to my cart and purchase. Bye. I took a coupon. Did I not take it? I thought I had a coupon. I've got three now. Oh, did I not? Did, oh, it didn't finish printing last time, I don't think. I can buy all three of these now, then. So, what I can do is I can go and add you to the cart and add you to the cart and just buy all of them. Yeah, so I now have new buildings. So that's the fix-it shop, guys. Um, it just allows you to buy some extra stuff that you don't necessarily need, but can be very useful when you're building your factory up. So, I'll see you in my next episode because we completed this. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.